In the previous video, we created an interaction system. Now we will make a light switch system using that system. Let's get started. If you remember, we had an interaction object from the previous video, create child blueprint class, and open it. This will be our light switch. Let's create a variable, let's call it light. Let's choose light, object reference as type. The important thing here is that we need to make this variable editable. I modeled a simple light switch in Blender 3D and exported it in FBX format. I will use it. Now, when the interact event is activated, we will make a slight rotation in this mesh, just like the light switches in our homes. Now let's place our light switch on the wall. Let's select the light in our scene with the eyedropper tool in the details section. Now this actor will act on this light. Now let's go back to the light switch. You remember the interact interface we created in the previous video. If you haven't watched that video, I suggest you take a look from the link above. Right click and implement event we say. Let's get our light. Let's press get light component at the bottom. Now we will change the visibility of this light. Let's connect it to the event interact. We will make a control. We need to know if the light component is currently visible. Branch node. If true, turn off the light. If false, turn it on. Now, let's set the rotation on our mesh. If true, it will keep its position. If false, it will turn on the light. So it will rotate seven degrees. Compile and save. Let's try. Now, if we delete the value of the light variable here, the system will give an error. We need to solve this. In this case, is valid comes to your aid. Let's go back to our light switch blueprint. Here we place an is valid node for light. If light is valid, the operation will continue. If not, it will stop here. But there should still be light switch rotation. So we need to move the nodes we rotate before the I is valid node. So we need to separate the nodes we rotate the mesh. We will use the sequencer node to separate and flip flop node. Yes, it's pretty good. Now let's add a sound effect. Remember, we always need to polish our work. I downloaded a simple sound from freesound.org. The sounds you import into Unreal Engine must be in wavy format. Let's do it. Yes, the result was very satisfying. You can experiment with different lights and models you can even improve this system. In the next video, we will look at door types using the same system and understand all the logic in the simplest way. In fact, I learn new things with you as I research, as I practice. If you're finding value in these videos, hit that subscribe button and drop a like if you love the content and ring the bell to stay updated. See you in the restaurant at the end of the universe.